Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another edition of WWE Flame. I am your host, NT Certified, and we are coming at you live from Monterey, Mexico, for another episode and some really great in ring action. And tonight we start off the show with the show off himself, Dolph Ziggler. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. And his opponent from Parks. First match of the night is Dolph Ziggler versus the big red monster Kane. Breaking news from backstage. We were just informed, or earlier today should I say, that Evolution, Triple H, Batista, Ric Flair, and Randy Orton, fresh off of a complete loss of every match they were in last week has refused to show up here on WWE Flame this week so we will not be seeing either of the Evolution members here tonight they have said that they will not return to WWE Flame until they get matches of their choosing they will redeem themselves at a later date in the meantime we have Kane we have Dolph Ziggler with Kane in complete control. Nice snap mare by Kane and a kick to the face. Brutal kick to the face. So also, we were just informed before the show started that every winner of every singles match between last week and this week will compete in separate Fatal 4-Way matches. The winners of those Fatal 4-Way matches will be the number one and number two contender, which means that they will face each other for the vacant WWE Flame Championship in about two weeks' time at our Evolution pay-per-view. And surely, Kane and Dolph Ziggler would both love to be in the driver's seat for a chance at another World Heavyweight Championship. Kane, a former two-time World Heavyweight Champion, and Dolph Ziggler, a former two-time Heavyweight Champion himself. Both guys are future Hall of Famers, just awesome, awesome talents. Dolph Ziggler with the knee to the gut, taking the big red monster down. Ooh, snapmare of his own and a kick to the spine. It's been a while since Dolph Ziggler has had a chance at a World Heavyweight Championship, and he's been scratching. He's been clawing at the bit. He would love to be back on top of the mountain, but he needs to topple the big rat monster Kane. And right now, it looks like he is in a really bad way with a hard power bomb in the middle of the ring. Lifting up Ziggler's groggy. Oh, hard elbow to the back. Oh, nice reversal by Dolph Ziggler. Hard forearm to the face. Can he make a return? A nice drop kick. Taking Kane down. Missed drop kick, Kane in control, Irish whip into the ropes, hard boot to the face. That is the second boot that Dolph Ziggler has experienced here tonight, and he looks like he is seeing stars right now. Kane with the choke, Kane with the choke. He's taking Dolph Ziggler down. This may be it, this may be it. He passed out. Dolph Ziggler succumbs to the naked choke. Kane gets the victory. And here's a replay of that choke. Nobody gets up from that choke. Here is your winner, Kane! Kane moves on to the Fatal 4 away next week. We do have three other matches that will determine his three opponents as WWE Flame continues. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Making 
making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. And his opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 185 pounds. Our second contest of the evening, Johnny Gargano versus El Mago Jr. The winner of this match will be the second participant in the Fatal 4-Way match to determine the number one and number two contenders for the WWE Flame Heavyweight Championship. Johnny Gargano has not won a singles title here on WWE's main roster yet, and El Mago has not won any championships here in WWE at this early state in his career but he has a chance to get one step closer here tonight with an awesome tilt to world backbreaker in other matches here tonight we will have Elias challenging Roddy Rowdy Piper and in our main event Brock Lesnar who won his match last week against the nature boy Ric Flair will face the Samoan submission machine Samoa Joe if Brock Lesnar does defeat Samoa Joe here tonight in the main event the match for next week will be a triple threat with the winners of the other three matches competing for the number one contendership El Mago Jr. shockingly holding his own uh, started as an enhancement talent you know here in WWE and has gotten a few wins under his belt the crowds kind of getting behind him a little bit he's kind of embracing it showing some 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 really good you know stuff against Johnny Gargano here at this point Gargano with the reversal nice leg sweep there Ooh, tilt the world forearm to the face El Mago is down Johnny Gargano, the NXT sensation on the main roster finally after spending years down on the NXT roster. He is here to make an impact. What better way than to beat a young up-and-comer like El Mago Jr.? Nice. Putting all his weight on the back of the neck, but El Mago's up already with a shot to the gut and a whip to the ropes. Oh. Banging into each other there, but Omago is able to recover up into a nice power bomb there, showing some strength from the cruiserweight Omago Jr. Nice drop kick. Gargano's down, lifting him up once again. Nice snapmare into the tequila sunrise, giving Johnny Gargano a little bit of his own medicine. Kicking off there, Johnny Gargano's up to his feet. Oh, and he's, oh, and he, he reversed it. He's doing the exact same move that El Mago just did to him. Very nicely done. But El Mago also is able to kick out there, running and nice. Hurricane Rana taking Johnny Gargano down to the mat. And this match is tit for tat. Both men are a great match for each other here tonight. Gargano with the arm ringer. Nice step up in Zagiri. Nobody has the advantage over the other. These guys are going back and forth, and that's the kind of wrestling that I like to see. Lifting him up. Oh, Torpedo into the ropes. El Mago is down. Gargano into the pin. One, two, kick out at one from El Mago Jr. The match continues. Oh, standing in Sagiri, giving Gargano a piece of his own medicine or a taste of his own medicine. Oh, he trips him, and Gargano smashes his face on the ring. One, two, El Mago with the upset on Johnny. Gargano, who would have thought? Amazing. El Mago moves on to the Fatal 4-Way Contest next week. Gargano coming up to El Mago Jr. here, extending his hand. And El Mago returning it. Both men highly respectful of one another. 
El Mago moves on one step closer to becoming WWE Flame Champion. Women's competition here tonight. We have Tony Storm coming all the way from WWE NXT UK. Very nice to have her on the WWE Flame roster, going one on one with Mandy Rose, which is which which is kind of ironic, you know, because both of these women were drafted and they were drafted almost right up against each other. It's like there there wasn't a decision there couldn't be a decision made where we could determine if Mandy Rose or Tony Storm would go ahead of the other so very cool to see them two in the ring together right now one-on-one uh, -on -one action uh, both women would love to be in title contention unfortunately Molly Holly is the number one contender to the flame women's championship uh, defeating Liv Morgan, you know, fair and square last week. So Liv Morgan was more than happy to give her a title shot. They will face each other one-on-one -on -one at Evolution in two weeks' time. But a win for either of these women would be amazing. Mandy Rose with the reverse DDT. Mandy without Sonya Deville here tonight. Shocking. Usually, you don't see fire and desire apart. They are always together no matter where you go. The airport, restaurants, bathrooms, you know, anywhere you go, they're always together. So very shocking that, you know, Sonya is not here tonight. Mandy Rose with the beautiful vertical suplex. She is in full control of this match right now. Hard forearm, kick to the shin. Driving the neck of Tony Storm into the bottom rope. And if you are just tuning in, we had two singles matches to start the show. Uh, Kane defeated Dolph Ziggler. Mandy Rose stuck. Oh, very nice transition. Almost into a, 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 a bridge there. But Tony Storm with the butterfly suit. Lung blower. Nice transition there, taking Mandy Rose down, and Mandy Rose to the outside. Not wanting any part of Tony Storm right now. Tony climbing to the top. What's going on here? She jumps. Oh, and she misses. Falls flat on her tailbone, and Mandy Rose takes advantage with the knee to the back. Oh, hard forearm. Almost knocks Tony out. Center of the ring. Mandy with the kick to the gut. Beautiful DDT. Will Mandy capitalize? Of course not. She decides to showboat. She decides to flaunt to the audience. What is this? Stratisfaction from Mandy Rose. Nicely done but not going for the pin, I'm surprised. Instead, a second DDT on Tony Storm. Tony Storm's gonna have to find a way to get back on the offense, and there it is, the forearm to the face. Mandy with the reversal, she is all over Tony Storm right now, lifting her up to the top rope, kick to the face. Tony Storm with the butterfly, a second lung blower. Nice European uppercut. Ooh, Mandy Rose with the clothesline. Playing to the audience once again. Boots to the neck. And as I was mentioning earlier, Kane defeated Dolph Ziggler in competition earlier tonight. And El Mago Jr. with the upset over Johnny Gargano. Both men moving on to next week's Fatal 4-Way match. And Mandy with the nonchalant pin, not keeping Tony Storm down. What is this? 
Oh, very nice. Neck breaker. One, two. Mandy kicks out at two. That, uh-oh. What is this? Sonia Deville on her way to the ring. Where's Sonia? Sonia not there. Ooh, a hard shot. Tony Storm is out. Sonia providing a distraction. Mandy Rose with the butterfly suplex into the face buster. Will that be it? Sitting so two. Three, Mandy Rose gets the Duke with the distraction from Sonya Deville. Replay of the nonchalant pin from Mandy Rose earlier in the match. The sit out, like neck breaker there. One of the pinfall attempts. And finally, ugh. Laying Tony Storm out. Mandy Rose takes the pin. She gets to do one, two, and three. Here is your winner, Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose puts a win in the win column by defeating Tony Storm, but that we cannot say that that victory was not tainted. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland. Elias heading up the ramp. He's going to meet Roddy Piper. Oh, but Piper with the leg sweep, taking Elias down before he can get the advantage. Oh, nice backbreaker on the outside. Elias just tried to outsmart one of the greatest legends in the game. Turns out he got outsmarted instead. Both guys on the outside. The match has not begun. The bell has not rung. Both men now in the ring, and the match is underway. Elias taking advantage of the match early on. Ooh, hard back elbow to the face of Roddy Piper, but Piper not taking it lying down. Piper grabbing Elias. Ooh, bashing his head into the turnbuckle. Short arm punch to the face of Elias. Elias getting angry. Ooh, dropping Roddy Piper's neck across the top rope. As we pan through the crowd, Elias takes control over Roddy Piper. Kick to the gut. Ooh, running knee lift. Taking the Roddy Piper down. Ooh, elevated body slam from Elias, the powerhouse Elias with another elevated body slam. Ooh, kick to the face, Roddy Piper the trickster. Oh, jumping knee strike from Elias. Elias showing a lot of resiliency, a boot to the face. Looks like Elias didn't like being outsmarted by Roddy Piper. Piper dropping Elias across the ropes. And keep in mind, people, that we do have the main event coming up next. It is Brock Lesnar challenging Samoa Joe. If Brock Lesnar defeats Samoa Joe, we have ourselves a triple threat match for the number one contender. If not, we have ourselves a fatal four-way with Samoa Joe and the winner of this match, along with El Mago Jr. and the Big Red Monster Kane. Elias looking to challenge for his very first heavyweight championship here on WWE Flame. A great acquisition from the WWE Draft for the Flame roster. Very nice DDT, float over DDT from Elias, but a trip up from Roddy Piper, always finding a way. 
always finding a way to take a man down. Whipping to the ropes, bumping into each other. We've seen that a lot tonight. Oh, hard power bomb from Elias. But Piper jumps up, running DDT. Playing to the crowd. The crowd loves Roddy Roddy Piper. Elias slides to the outside. Kick to the gut, shot to the face. Elias can't seem to keep Roddy Piper down, but the ref is counting. He's at a four count. Ooh, hard double axe handle to the chest, a club to the chest. The ref is at four, both men on the outside. Hard jabs. Piper takes Elias and throws him back into the ring. Piper with a running knee lift of his own. He looks winded into the pin. One, two, Elias kicks out at two. And Roddy Piper almost can't believe it. For some reason, he thought that he had that. Into the sleeper hold. Once you get the sleeper hold on, that's it. Nobody gets out of the Roddy Piper sleeper hold, and there it is. Roddy Piper lays Elias out. The running knee lift. One of the earlier pinfall attempts, unsuccessful. And of course, the sleeper that puts Elias away for the loss. Here is your winner, Roddy, Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper joins Kane and El Mago Jr. as the third competitor to compete next week for a chance to be the very first WWE Flame Heavyweight Champion. Main event time, folks. Brock Lesnar going one-on-one -on -one with the Samoan Submission Machine. Samoa Joe and Brock showing his power right out of the gate. Brock barely, barely skated away with a victory over the Nature Boy Ric Flair just last week. Brock with a fallaway suplex. Thinking that he's gonna take Samoa Joe to Suplex City early on, but Joe overpowering Brock Lesnar, taking him down with the elbows to the shoulders, to the joints of the shoulders, into the Centon splash, putting all his weight down on the beast Brock Lesnar. But Brock barely coming out with a victory over Ric Flair with a little bit of help from Paul Heyman earning himself a chance to become the number one contender for the Flame Championship. Brock, a multiple time world champion, among other championships here in WWE. Brock, oh, very nice. You don't often see Brock Lesnar being suplexed or manhandled in any capacity, but for some reason, Last week, Ric Flair took him to the limit, and this week, Samoa Joe is, is showing some, uh, some promise here. Lifting Brock Lesnar up once again with the DVD, Death Valley Driver. Joe came to play tonight. Elbow to the face. Brock dragging Samoa Joe across the ring. He got suplex. Oh, ooh, knees to the face, hard knees to the face. 
Ugh. Samoa Joe rolls to the outside and Brock is quick to follow him. Paul Heyman at ringside watching his client. Reversed. Ooh. Headbutt. Never headbutt a Samoan. You will not come on on the winning end. And oh, suplex from Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe has a lot to lose here. Samoa Joe has a lot to prove. He needs to win this match. He needs to get himself back into title contention. This is the best way to do it by beating the beast Brock Lesnar. Oh, he can't suplex him that time. Oh, Brock with the knee to the gut, kicks to the chest, two kicks to the chest. Brutal shots. Caving the chest in. Reverse into a shoulder block. Taking Lesnar down. Ooh, shots. Ooh, very nice combo. Knocking Lesnar down. Snapmare. Chop to the back. Kick to the chest. Joe with the sweep. Looking kind of like El Mago Jr. sweep. But the big man Brock Lesnar is not staying down. Slingshot across the ropes. Uranagi into the pin. One, two. You've got to be kidding me. Samoa Joe puts away Brock Lesnar. With a Uranagi, Samoa Joe defeats Brock Lesnar to earn himself a shot at the WWE Flame Championship. I'm speaking over the announcer, but it does not matter. Samoa Joe has put away the beast Brock Lesnar. This is Bizarro World. Last week, Evolution. This week, Brock Lesnar. What? will happen next week on WWE Flame. Thank you for watching. This is NT Certified. I will see you guys next week.